Yes, please listen up. Put down your scrolls, turn off your eye stones and your tablets. <laughs> tablets and... <laughs> Can I read now? Sure, go ahead. Uh, I'll be as quiet as a flea on a camel. <laughs> now today, we will read a little more from the latest letter that Paul wrote to us. Now, does everybody remember what we read last time? No. Neither do I. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I can't figure out what Paul is saying half the time anyway. <laughs> Most of the time, Paul writes. Now, Paul writes, hmm, are we beginning to commend ourselves again? Boy, that sounds like Paul, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or do we need, like some people, hmm, letters of recommendation to you or from you? You ourselves are our letter. We are letters? <laughs> What letter are you? What letter are you? This worship is brought to you by the letter K. <laughs> you yourselves are our letter, written on our hearts, known and read by everyone. Oh. Oh. You show that you are a letter from Christ. Oh, oh. <laughs> the result of our ministry, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Such confidence we have through Christ before God. Not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves. Wait, what? He has made us competent as ministers of a new covenant. New covenant? Uh, not of the letter but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. Uh, uh, could you repeat that last part? He has made us competent as ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. <clears throat> Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. <clears throat> <clears throat> 